an immersive disco karaoke musical. My name's David Byrne. Recently, I uh, wrote a theatrical show, a musical, that is uh, now opening on Broadway. Hi, my name's Cody Spencer. Uh, so I am Mutt, also known as ML Dog. As co-designers for Here Lies Love, Mutt and I both kind of have our own roles. I, I take care of more of the system and dealing with the actual tuning and the sound of the system where Mutt is taking care of the content. My name is David Corns, and I am the set designer of Here Lies Love. Our director likes to talk about this show as a Trojan horse. We present like we're in this kind of club-like environment and that people want to come and dance and sing and marvel at the technology and be immersed inside of the storytelling. About a third of the audience it's on dance floor. We turn the theater into basically a dance club. And the actors are moving around on these platforms. Sometimes we're crossing into a runway that goes down the middle of the dance floor. But then what comes out of that Trojan horse is this extraordinarily poignant uh, tale about the fragility of democracy and uh, the story of a people who um, had to deal with the rise and fall of this dictatorship. It's made even more particularly important because it's an all Filipino cast for the first time in Broadway history telling the story. There's times when you dance and there's times when you're watching some you know, dramatic thing taking place. So that's, that's kind of what the show is. For the system design of Here Lies Love, I kind of always knew that I knew I wanted to use Eliza. I knew I wanted to use L Acoustics. I started talking to PRG North America, who I knew had the resources to make this show happen, to give us this show that is 100% audience-facing L Acoustics, which is kind of unheard of in the Broadway market to have 100% of any manufacturer. We first did the show at least 10 years ago at the Public Theater in downtown New York. It was the same Basically the same show, much smaller scale, much, much smaller audience. The focus of the, of the audience, instead of just being on the floor uh, or the pit, uh, we now have a full mezzanine. But we actually have six different zones that we are controlling um, with two Elisa processors. We have a floor Elisa processor doing a 360 sound, so sound can go all around. And then we have the what we call the frontal system, which is more the, of the, the voices are in the front with surrounds and stuff all around. You know, where Elisa came in really handy here is to up in the mezzanine to give the people the experience of sound going around them and not just in front of them, because most theatrical experiences, sound is in front of you. There's a number of points in the show where the actors, the singers, are in different positions during the same song. Imelda is on a platform and Marcos is in kind of a hospital bed and he sings and she responds. You can watch the audience and they'll hear the sound from behind and then they know that's the performer I need to pay attention to. I mean, it's, it's, it really gives the ability to focus attention. And they do and uh, it's a big relief that this system can do that. They're the more subtle moments that we use Eliza to be able to help the audience feel encompassed by the sound. There's quite a few places where the actors are actually moving as they sing. Who's holding aces and who's got a fold and who's got a secret and... The first time I, I experienced the Elisa technology was when Cody said, come over to the theater we have playback, we can play back some of the tracks and you can hear it through the system. And it sounded pretty incredible. My first experience with Eliza is a little bit different than most people's experience with Eliza. Um, after we had done Here Lies Love in 2013, I flew to Marcusi and went into a dark basement and there was this little box, this computer that looked like it was in pieces in the middle of the room with a whole bunch of Keras around. And it was the first iteration of Eliza. And very unique that I got to see it in that form and now it's part of the show on Broadway. You know, the fact that you're, you're watching this immersive show that's a disco, that whether you're standing on the floor where the sound is all around you or you're sitting up in the mezzanine, you're really feeling like you're encompassed and you're part of the show as opposed to, there's a proscenium here and I'm watching the show that's down there. You look around, you're like, how did they do this? Just to be standing on that dance floor and just hear 
the voices come at you, you know, whether they're localized, whether they're encompassing, however it is, and just the sound come at you, it's just, it's just amazing. Just like, you know, I've had nights where I've teared up a little bit just listening to be like, I couldn't have done this if it wasn't for this technology and what the amount of time that we spent to do this is just, you know, it, it's well worth it in the end. And it's just amazing that we were able to get here with this.